200 meters individual medley for the men. And could we get our first Portuguese gold medal here? Rossetti of Italy will have other ideas, as will Hubert Koch, amongst others, for Hungary. But it's 200 IM. Laszlo Che's championship record is 156.66. So, first up, Vadim Naumenko. Well, well, we've seen him already, haven't we? Doing all right, and back for more. Andres Vazeos in lane number one. Seven is Carl's Cole. Now, Carl's Cole, hmm. Spain looking for his first medal. Could we get one in here. Again, another very, very experienced swimmer based in France. Swims for Switzerland, Jeremy Deplanche. Ron Polanski of Israel has uh, swum with the University of Stanford. He's in six. In three is Alberto Rossetti. Five is Hubert Koch from Budapest. And Portugal has the fastest qualifier. And fastest qualifier by a bit, actually, is Jose Lopez. Lopez now 21 years of age. If you're looking for a wide open one, there is no Leon Marchand, by the way, France. Decided to opt out of this one. He did do the World Championships, and had he been here, I think he'd have been a hard man to beat. The fastest time in the world. 155.22. So that European record of 155.18. So actually, yeah, he went quicker. That's, that's a chase record I'm looking at. Beg your pardon? Yeah, nearly broke the uh, European record. Just four one hundredths outside it in Budapest. And yeah, we need a bit of hush. Please, thank you. Men's 200 meters individual medley. Obviously, it's Italian interest and Vazeos of Greece as well. De Planche of Switzerland. Lopez, Portugal. Kosh, Hungary. Polonsky, Israel. Cole of Spain and now Menko of Ukraine. Red cap is very prominent early on. Jeremy De Planche. Is he going to get to the wall before all the others? Certainly intending to by the looks of things. Just buying Kosh in the end by four one hundreds. Rosetti in third, but this race has got a long way to go, and of course there are four different strokes, and everybody has a slightly stronger stroke and a weaker stroke amongst those four, but a really good turn by Kosh to work his way to the front of the field with 15 to go on the backstroke. It is Kosh in lane number five, who's got about half a body length advantage over Lopez. Polonsky's in third place. Now the breaststroke which is where Rossetti should come into his own a little bit. But it's those center lanes, four, five, and six at the moment. Lopez, Kosh, and Polonsky are going together. The planche on the breaststroke is coming right through here. Watch out for that red cup, almost alongside Lopez in four. But this is looking good for the Portuguese. It's a choppy little stroke, but it gets him the distance. And Lopez will lead going to the last 50, just ahead of Koch, with De Blanche coming into third place. Only 17 one hundredths between one and two. The race is most definitely on now. De Blanche is not out of it. But will Portugal get their first gold here, or will they be denied by Hubert Koch? Koch is finishing very, very strongly indeed, as indeed is the Italian in lane number three. There's four of them in a line now, and coming through is Rossetti. 
What a finish by Rossetti. Is he going to get through before Kosh? No, not quite. Oh, the crowd are so deflated. They thought the Italian had all the momentum, and indeed he had. But Hubert Kosh holds on for Hungary. 157-72. 157-82 for Rossetti and Lopez will have to be content with third place. Rossetti was coming like the proverbial train. Um, look at the last 50 split. He was six tenths of a, a second quicker than Kosh. He caught up a lot of time over that last 50, but ultimately it wasn't enough for the gold there was only a tenth of a second in it at the conclusion look at the touch it's almost imperceptible Rossetti just getting run out of it by Kosh and Lopez in third place and that's a good win for the Hungarian against our personal best but on the day it was enough just 157.7, Rossetti 157.8, and Lopez in third place. Well, I'm back.